everyone, Elisa here from Lemon Robert Crochet. Today I'm popping in because I got a new book. This book is Edward Menagerie's Dogs. So this has all kinds of breeds of dogs. Okay. Let's see if there's some of them up close. Some of those. Okay, so I did make a dog out of here so far. Um, I don't have it at the moment. My kiddos ran off with it, but the basics of this book, it's one of those ones where in the beginning, here's the basic body. And every time you want to create a dog, you make the body, you, well, you go to that page and it tells you, okay, make, most of them say, make this body or make this body with this tweak and then do this for the arms and legs and head. Um, so a lot of it you have to keep going back to the beginning to see a, a basic instruction on how to make the body and the head and some of those the arms and legs and then each dog just shows you how to customize it to make it look like the dog so i guess this is telling you about the book also a little bit of a review um now i do like the idea of this book and i did only try to make one dog and it came out okay wasn't really one of it's I don't know, like, I'll make other dogs in this book, but it's definitely not a go-to book. Um, and I, I also tend to like to make um, bigger, like, cuddly animals, and these are pretty small. Um, but, and I'm trying to remember, I think I spent $15 on it, maybe less. I think Amazon was having a buy two, get one free sale, which is why I got this book. Um, that I mean, I really like dogs. I have a boxer. Um, if you've seen her occasionally, um, she, uh, she's older now. She's uh, nine, uh, but I really like dogs, and I like making different stuffies occasionally, and especially dogs and cats. Um, so I, I have a dog and a cat. Um, you, if you've watched me for a while, you've seen my cat all the time. In fact, he's sitting over here, sunning himself and cleaning himself. Um, he tends to make a lot of appearances, but I usually I like to make cats, but also dogs. Like I like to make more customized gifts for people, so I might try to crochet a dog for them later on. But I have to say this is definitely not one of my favorite books. Um, next time I someone has uh, I need to make someone a present and I want to do something where I can customize it, I'll probably crochet them a dog. I'll go back to this book. But if I had known more about this book, I don't know if I would have gotten it um, because it, they come out okay. But I also do have a lot of patterns by Jenna Wingate, I believe is her name. Um, and she made a lot of dog appliques. And I felt like they, they came out really well and I can make something basic and just sew it together and sew it on. And that's a lot more little pieces, but um, I feel like if you want something that uh, it's a present for someone that's their dog. I kind of, I like that a little better, but that's applications are more versatile. You can make them a hat, you can make them a blanket. I mean, you could put a dog applique on anything. But when it comes to Amigurumi, I really like, I, this is not one of my favorite ones. There's a lot of pattern designers I like. Um, and she doesn't do specific dogs, but this one does all kinds of animals. Um, accessorized design is one of my favorites and actually, my little co-host here um this is a cat and uh, some of her patterns were originally um she designed them to be big to make with um the blanket yarn but uh, and then there's always a modification if you use worse they do just make a smaller animal um and then she started making more pillow ones and now she's been making smaller ones um, that are, and these are paid patterns, but her smaller ones she's been putting on lately, they're free patterns on her blog. But this is one of them. Um, and I like some of those. And then I, I haven't made them yet, but I did buy a couple of bunnies and yarn. Um, she makes, she has smaller ones, but she also makes the giant ones, but they're like giant ones made out of worsted weight yarn. Um, so I want to try making some of them, see how they come out. But those are, I really like those. I'm not real big on these so far, but I have to try making a couple more dogs and see how they come out and see what what happens. But that's my Edward Menagerie's dogs book. And it, 
I, it's not definitely not one of my favorites. I wouldn't say don't get it if, but if you want to crochet a specific dog, check it out. Um, but I mean, if you just want to crochet any dog, I wouldn't necessarily purchase this book. Um, but it is cool all the different breeds in there. That I mean, they have some more rare ones. I got, and there, there were some I couldn't find in there. But like they have Kali and a um, the Basset Hound Husky. But then they also have, they have a Whippet in there, uh, a Newfoundland, um, a Pekingese, a uh, Papalian. Uh, they have a lot of more, less common dogs in here, and then also uh, a good amount of common dogs. So that is a nice variety, but if you're not looking specifically for a bunch of breeds, I don't know if I would recommend that you would get this book when you can go on Ravelry or um, Etsy and just buy one pattern. But that's just my opinion on this book. If you've used this book or other books like this, let me know. Or if you've got a great um, amigurumi pattern um, that, or designer, let me know down below. Oh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day.